and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make one of my favorite super easy desserts called Tartot Bon Fin, which literally means thin apple pie. So if you are not a baker, after this recipe you will become one. Because you literally need, let me see here, without the sugar, the cinnamon and butter, you will need three ingredients. That's it. So who said baking was hard? I don't know, because in my world, baking is easy. So let's start. One of the main ingredients in this recipe is puff pastry. So puff pastry is like a magic ingredient. I always have a couple of rolls in my freezer, just buy them from the store, no need to make it yourself, the store quality is really good and it freezes for a long time. So anytime I have my friends coming um, and I need to do something uh, fast and easy, puff pastry is there. Okay, so we're going to roll the puff pastry, but because I'm lazy, I'm going to roll it directly on my baking pan. This way, I don't have to transfer stuff. So here goes my puff pastry. And I removed the plastic bag. As you can see, the puff pastry I'm using is already very thin, so I don't need to roll it. But if the puff pastry you're using is a little thicker, just give it a little roll with your rolling pin and that would be good. Using a fork, just put holes all over your pastry, just like this. Now, apple time. All you have to do is basically peel them. So I'm just going to use my peeler here. Then we're going to cut them in half. If you have an apple core, you could use it to core the apples. I don't know where I put mine, but that's the proof that you don't need to have big kitchen machines to do what you need to do. And using a smaller knife, I'm going to core the apples. So basically, just take the center. So here, my apple is cut in half and cored. Before you start cutting the apples, just preheat your oven to 400 Fahrenheit degrees, which is equivalent to around 200 Celsius degrees, because at this point things are going to get really fast. So here are my apples. Now we need to cut them. Then you take the half like this and you thinly cut slice it. So this is important. It has to be thin, right? So you go like this. We can get rid of this part. You can get rid of the ends. So this is how you slice your apple. So you do this with every half basically. This is the fun part. So you take your half apple and basically just make it um, open up, right? Like this. And using a cookie cutter, you cut the pastry around the apple. And you leave a little bit of the puff pastry for the edge. We'll do another one. First you take half of your apple and you basically just go like this to flatten it up. And then you take that and put it in your pastry and you make sure that their apples are nicely spaced. Then, using a cookie cutter, you just cut the pastry around the apple and you leave a little bit for the edge. Remove the puff pastry around our apple beauties here. And you can just keep it in a wrap, um, in a wax paper, and then in a plastic wrap and keep it in the freezer and use it next time. The final step is brush uh, the sides of the pastry with an egg wash, which is a little bit of uh, water added to an egg. So this way I have a beautiful golden brown edges. Then I'm going to add sugar and this is just regular sugar, just like that. A little bit of cinnamon and finally small pieces of butter that I, I just add a few pieces here and there of butter on top and that's it 
as easy as that. Some people like to add uh, applesauce in the pastry before adding the apples. You could do that if you want. For me, I just go simple. It's delicious the way it is. So now, to the oven. My apple pies are ready. Look at these beautiful colors in here. I bake them for around 20 minutes or whatever you need depending on uh, your oven. They have to become golden brown and the puff pastry has to be cooked. So I'm going to serve one of these to myself. Yum! And what I like to do is brush the apples with a little bit of uh, honey mixed with a little bit of orange blossom water that I microwave for a few seconds so it's liquidy and I just brush the top like this. You can also use uh, apricot jam with a little bit of water uh, and mix them together or any kind of glaze you like but I like the honey and orange blossom water. Yum, yum! You could serve this apple pie either cold or warm with a scoop of ice cream, vanilla ice cream, really, vanilla ice cream. Okay, I'll cut the calories and just eat it as is. I'm going to taste this for you. Yummy! Look at this beauty. Yum! Mmm! Oh my god, the apples are cooked, but not overcooked, so they still have a crunchiness. You have the cinnamon that goes perfectly with the honey and orange blossom water. And then you have the crunchiness of the pastry with the little taste of butter. Mmm, this is perfect. Oh my god, this is really, really good. Try it and let me know. Now, Mr. or Mrs. Baker, you're going to impress some people. So, bon appétit and see you next time!